Friends, an SDA church is inviting LGBT affirming person to lecture its church members on LGBT. Now, who is this person invited by the Green Lake SDA church to teach its members theological perspectives on LGBT? Let's watch this. Before we get started, I just want to give you a quick overview of what the last 17 months of my life have been like. I'm guessing they've been crazier than yours. <laughs> um, maybe not, though. <laughs> There's a lot of people in this room with uh, stories. That is Alicia Johnston, and I'm sure you do remember her. In case you have forgotten, Alicia Johnston was an Adventist pastor who resigned after she came out as bisexual in the year 2017. I was very happy to be a pastor in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. I felt that I had my place. I felt that I had my people. I knew that God had led me there. I was very grateful for that. All of that had changed, and I had become to a position of being fully affirming. You now remember? And since that, she has been publicly advocating for the affirmation of LGBT in Christian churches. In Adventism, she is not the only person that has come out. In 2018, another person called Paul Anthony Tuna also came out, but this person was in the seminary being trained as a Seventh-day Adventist pastor. In the year 2023, another pastor called Pastor Sasha Ganjavik in Germany also came out. So we have a list of Adventist pastors who have come out as LGBT since 2017. And I think this is not going to be the end because I strongly believe that there are some others who are still in the ministry but have not yet come out. Now, the general conference or the church has responded to the issue of LGBT many times. And the most recent response was given by Elder Ted Wilson at the just ended spring meeting of the General Conference. Let's listen to him. We're going to talk to you about a very serious item for a few moments. Um, not going to spend a lot of time and we're not even going to open it for discussion. Uh, but we want to inform you about what's happening. Maurice, uh, Valentine, if you will just come up here to the pulpit for a moment. Several weeks ago, we organized a new committee. Uh, actually, it's a task force. This particular task force has as its objective to draw on all of the resources, the materials that the church has from the Bible, from Biblical Research Institute, from voted statements, from other sources to help our church members and especially our younger church members to understand what the Bible has to say about human sexuality. We are facing a huge onslaught of aggressive conditioning of people's minds from social media, from culture, regarding LGBT and other aspects. However, there are some top pastors in the church that seems to be silent on this issue, like Pastor Doug Bachelor, Walter Veit, John Loma Kang, and the rest. They seem to be silent on this issue of LGBT in the church. Now, this LGBT pastors that we are talking about right now left the ministry by themselves or were kicked out from the ministry by the church. And this is mainly because you cannot hold or practice something that is contrary to the Bible and still remain a pastor. For example, you cannot hold that Jesus did not die on the cross to save humans and be allowed to be a pastor in any of the Christian churches. So it is the same way you cannot be an LGBT and remain a pastor or else you are going to influence your church members with the ideology of LGBT. 
and it is not acceptable anywhere in God's church. And now, do you know what is happening? These same LGBT pastors are being invited into the church to teach LGBT to the church members. Wow! And how could this happen? Let us look at this flyer and program outline on your screens. It says Spring Lecture Series LII, May 12th to 13th, 2023. And Friday, May 12th, part one of the program is going to be What about the Bible? Different theological perspectives on LGBT Christians. Sabbath morning, May 13th. And part two is going to be what is it like to be an LGBT Adventist. And the same Saturday, part three is going to be the Bible and same-sex marriage. And under it, you have the church that is going to host this program and host this LGBT pastor, Green Lake Church of Seventh-day Adventist. So the Green Lake SDA Church in Washington, USA, led by Pastor Kevin McGill and Pastor Robin Leonardini, has invited an LGBT person to teach the church members Babylonian sexuality. Now, we visited the YouTube channel of the Green Lake SDA Church and we saw that LGBT colors are used for this upcoming LGBT lectures. So I asked myself, what is happening? Because this seems problematic. The children of God are going to be exposed to the teachings of Babylonian sexuality. And I'm wondering what an LGBT affirming person is going to teach on the topic, the Bible and same-sex marriage. What do you think this person is going to teach the church members? I don't believe that Alicia is going to teach that the Bible is against the practice of LGBT or against the practice of same-sex marriage because it is a job to use the Bible to defend LGBT. Now, the problem of the LGBT community is nothing but the Bible because that is the source from which many people derive their ethical behavior. When you ask a Christian why adultery is not a good thing, they will tell you the Bible says it and everything that Christians do or believe in, they will tell you it comes straight from the Bible. And it is true, Christians, most of the things that we do or say or practice come straight from the Bible. And the Bible is the one that guides our, our life. It guides our ethical lives, the decisions that we make, everything of the Christian life is influenced by the Bible. When you ask most Christians something about LGBT, they start from the Bible. They tell you the Bible does not approve of it. So the Bible has become problem for the LGBT community because as I said, that is where most Christians or all Christians derive their ethical behaviors from. So what the LGBT community is trying to do is to twist Bible interpretation or to twist the Bible to come into agreement with the practice of LGBT. And that is exactly what Alicia is doing on her YouTube channel. So again, the problem of the LGBT community is the Bible, which is telling people that LGBT or same-sex marriage is not a good thing. So, as I said, they are trying their best to twist the Bible, to turn the Bible upside down to show you that, hey, the Bible is not against the practice of LGBT, but they are lying. And this is really, really problematic that the church of God is being exposed to the teachings of Babylon, the teachings of Babylonian sexuality, sexuality that is not found in the Bible, sexuality that is not compatible with the Bible, you know? So um, I do not know why Pastor McGill is doing this. For example, you cannot invite someone who believes Lucifer is the creator of the universe into the church and ask that same person to teach something about creation. Obviously, you know that this person is going to teach that Lucifer is the creator of the universe using some text of the Bible or using any other text. You get it right. So it is the same thing for inviting LGBT affirming person to teach church members something about 
what the Bible says about human sexuality. Colossians 2 verse 8 wants us to be aware, Pastor McGill. Read Colossians 2 verse 8. What does it say? Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. Friends, you can also bring in your comments at this time. And we promise you that we are going to follow this program and update you over the weekend. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with friends. Thank you for watching. My name is Lawrence and see you next time.